do you have a favorite architecture? I, 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 that's a very obvious question. I mean, uh, x86 is still the one I favor most, and the reason for that is the PC. Not because of the architecture, it's because of the infrastructure, it's because it's there and it's open. And uh, it's open in a way that no other architecture is. And uh, it turns out the instruction set and the core of the CPU is not very important. And, and it's one of those big differentiation differentiating factors that people kind of fixate on, but it really doesn't matter very much in the end. What matters is all the infrastructure around that instruction set, and uh, an x86 right now has all that infrastructure, and it has it at a lot of different levels. I wanted to have an, an Acorn Archimedes. That was my dream machine for a while. And uh, why didn't I get one? No, the reason was there was absolutely no infrastructure. There was all the things around the CPU were not there. Never ever buy into something that doesn't have infrastructure. It, it's not about the instruction set. It's about everything around it. The thing I tend to look for is making, if you want to make big progress in a specific area, you need to figure out how to make lots of people care about that specific area. And, and that's the problem with small devices right now is uh, it's really hard to find lots of people to care when most of the small devices you can buy tend to be very locked down, for example. Uh, and, uh, and I'd love to say that there's millions and millions of IoT devices that so there should be tons of people caring about them. But if all these IoT devices are actually hard to play with, the only people who end up caring about these are inside companies. And it's really hard to get a personal interest in small hardware when none of the small hardware really tends to encourage that kind of loving. 